So I haven't been uploading for ages. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't judge. Really sorry. But um, a lot's been happening. I've just been busy plodding on with life, I guess you could say. I've got an exciting new video coming up, hopefully, if it all goes to plan. Um, but you'll have to wait and see for that. However, I'm actually in the garage. I thought I'd maybe show you around because there's quite a few new machines you've not seen yet. And I thought, well, I can skim over them all in one video. Well, um, maybe one day I'll make detailed videos of, mo of them all. First one is this. This is, well, it is mine, given to me now. Original story is it came with three others, and two others, sorry. This one. And that. Dust manager. So Kevin's, one of Kevin's former neighbours came to him one day and said, I've got three hoovers on my boot, by the way. I was, I'm going to take them to the tip unless you want to take them out. That was one of them. This is completely scrap. Well, the motor's completely scrap. However, good pass. I've already used that. I'll take the cable off it. Dust and brush is better on my, than my one. My one's down there. So we'll have one that doesn't run very well. The bearings are totally... Maybe it can be serviced one day and brought back to life, but as far as I'm concerned just now, it's off the refurb list. It um, wasn't really worth the new belt we put in it. But anyway, that's that. This came from the former neighbour. So Kevin gave me the turbo power and the dust manager. Um, the, dust, the turbo power was going to go to somebody else after I'd taken the spares I needed off it, but it's scrap, so they didn't want it. This came from the former neighbour. Burnt out, totally full of hair and everything. But in quite clean condition. A uh, wee bit fractured off the wand, but I've got glue to put it back on. Um, needs a pre-motor filter, needs one of them. I have, Kevin actually got a motor and a clutch for it, they're down there. Uh, so yeah, that's just going to be refurbished by me. I will make a video probably. This, I don't know if you've seen this. Hard to remember, it's probably been skimmed on in a video before. But it was a pound off eBay. Only problem is broken tooled, but it is mint. Like, it had paper bags and everything in it, which probably signifies it wasn't used in a while. Look at that, it's just a mint. And there are spare tubes and one of Mila's universal heads I've put with it for now. I've got a spare hose somewhere for it too. That's a bag of floor heads. This is one that actually Kevin gave me. I think that's in exchange for some work I'm doing to another Dyson for him. This! Isn't this nice? Now this one. Kevin actually got out a skip and it needed a full rebuild but it didn't get a new motor so for once the motor wasn't gone um, I think it needed new clutch belts various, it was, it was one of the things that needed lots of odds and ends to me if I had found this in the skip in the condition it was in I would have either just broken it up for spares or combined two but I think Kevin bought all the new parts, it does work <laughs> new clutch belts a few years ago so actually is does sweep quite well now the reason I've got it is because he gave it to his brother yes brother when I'm older I don't know if I'll give any of that to my brother when he needs out doubt it because well I might give him one might give him a Henry or something but he'll, he will ruin it I mean he never hoovers his room anyway I do it so what's the chances of him hoovering but anyway it's coming back because he had renovations done and the whole machine was just quite dusty and tired although I have used it quite a bit it works really well actually obviously it wasn't really making a, a dent on this carpet because it's so thin this is another new vacuum you have seen this a couple of times about three years ago, two and a half years ago I got this one for a service one of my dad's ex-colleagues now Kevin left the business come on Kev, step up your game not, not Kevin with that Dyson, my dad's colleague Kevin. But anyway, he um, merged households again, didn't really need it, and it was running hot and not sucking up. Cho choked up filter, I did make a video, don't know what happened to it. It didn't have any of that when I got it. But then his wife turned up one day, no idea who she was, she just came, Hi, these are Hoover bits, bye. I'm like, okay, just so care to explain who you are, how you got here, but anyway. She handed me that hose and the crevice tool, no brush thing. I I actually found that brush thing while I was at Kevin's. He had no idea I had it. He had it and he had 
I put the brand new mini turbo so that has now completed the machine and I quite like it I quite like them I've got another one I found and um, by the side of the road down there, I'll show you that, that's a newer one. I do quite like them, they're decent performers and for me to sell I would only get £20 for it, tops because folk think Vax, I think it's just a cheap hoover. So to be honest if I like using it then what's the point in me selling it for only £20, you know. Oh, you haven't seen this either. Now this came with that second hoover it and the two juniors down there, you can just about see them. So basically Kevin got in contact with an ex Hoover dealer. Ooh. And he was he had retired away to Cornwall. Don't know where he was before. Um if I find out where he was before, I'll put in the comments or something, because maybe those collectors where he last lived that might have knew him. But anyway, Kevin had got a dirt searcher off him. I think it was a U ten forty. And then the guy messaged back, well I've got two other juniors and Kevin said he wouldn't really be fussed for them but I said I'd have them. One's a gold 1036, I have a brown 1036 so it's nice to have the two of them. Um, so I said to Kevin, well I'll have them if he's offering. And then I think what happened was Kevin sent him a big sum of money because there was, the guy had about 20 packs of Hoover H1 bags, the genuine ones. So Kevin said, well I'll give you a big amount of money for them. And the guy said, okay, I'll include the juniors in that too and some extras. Extras, he meant he put in a dust uh, dust it and a hoover it. And loads of random hoover bits and spares. So that was really good of him. His name's Brian, I think. But again, I don't know where his shop was. So if I ever find out, I'll tell you. Because maybe, maybe some of you lot out there knew him. So he gave me, so Kevin gave me the dust it, the hoover it and the juniors as well, actually. And just said, I'll keep all the bags. Well, I got a couple nice of them. This one it'll be probably made with this one as well it runs it, it's quite quiet it's a bit slower than my one it seems I got that one off Mr Daniel Shanks and I didn't put that clip in properly when I took it apart, I don't know why I took it apart I was just curious and inquisitive um, so I will actually while I'm here I'll get something out, this is just a a shell of a meal or so spare packs. Ah! Somebody watching is going to be very happy to see that. Eh, he might reveal himself. I will remember and take that home with me. Right, so what was I talking about? Anyway, Hoover X, Dust X, blah blah blah. That one's quite cool. You have seen that. Y you haven't seen this. It's... I don't know if it is mine. It's Kevin's. I was sort of Hoover sitting it. Yes, that's a new term, Hoover sitting, looking after each other's Hoovers. Because cause Kevin's a local collector, I'm a local collector to him. Sometimes we just swap machines about, like this DC4, I've sort of got it on the premise I'm serv bleh, servicing it, but I'm also kind of keeping it for a bit and using it, if you get what I mean. So you gave me that, but then you got another 612, so hopefully we get two, is the plan. Oh, poor Novak. I know, it's so messy because I had him out the other day boosting up my cat and dog Mila which is going to a new home maybe you'll get the story one day but Nurak has been a wee star yeah I won't open it but took it, took it out and about last week with the airbrush and loads of attachments it was fantastic uh, at a friend's, friend's house they need a good vacuum every so often which I provide because they've got a wee one running about so I went along this I got we did film it I made two big videos of me working on this, but I could never upload them or something was the problem. But it does work. Works fine. It's really grubby though. Really grubby and smells a bit, so that needs a refurb. Is it worth it? I don't know. But then again, it's the kind of handy thing to have and be, I'm servicing somebody's hoover and they want another one as a loan out or whatever. And it's quite a good performer, so I will keep that one. This dust manager, I won't get out, but it works, the brush was seized, it had been in the cellar with those two in the same house. It's, it smells a bit carbony, but it works. Cool to have, I guess. These are the two juniors. Now, this one I can use, it works fine. That one, oh, sorry, has a, why well, am I apologising? It has the belt pulley off, a, like a, a 1346 junior. And you'll know these use flat belts, so the belt doesn't really go on without falling off. 
Oh, but this one runs good. It needs handle top. This one needs bag, um, not bag thing, front cover. The bag emblems are both a wee bit worn on them. You can tell that's a plasticky bag and that's looking a normal bag. But that they both run really well, so handy to have. Nice cleaners. We will get them both restored one day. Uh, I don't really know if there's anything else to show you. Uh, you might have not seen that. That's Panasonic. That's an Oric. Yeah, I've seen the Oric. That's cool. I don't know why I've always liked them. A family member had one when I was wee. Uh, probably of that same type, actually. I've always had a soft spot for them because it's hard to get a decent, you know, kind of... I always remember the shop near me sold these for 69.95 new. It's hard to get a machine that's that under the £100 done upright with a half decent brush roll, good suction and decent carpet ability. I mean that would be the cheaper vacuum AVL. Well maybe not because this might have been a deluxe one because it comes with two tubes. So it maybe had some of the dust managers came with a hard floor brush. But you know if you think of uh, well, the pure power, the pure power is maybe not too bad of a cheap vacuum but the quality on them is horrendous so it's a solidly built machine I've always kind of respected them so I have soft spot then when I found out there was one near me it found its way to me actually which was really cool so yeah there you go this box is full of Dyson sprays and meal filters came out my cat and dog but they're, they're still do a turn I guess because the cat and dog's going to a new home story well I'll tell you the story now I had a car sharing for a service VC6 3000, if any of you are familiar. Really weird cleaner, very much a European casher, but a pretty good hoover, I must say. Well designed, solidly built, and it was all going great until I was taking it apart to service it and the circuit board snapped. Oh dear. So I went looking for new circuit boards. One, the one site had them for 40 quid, but they never pictured it, and it was out of stock with them anyway. So I thought, well, I'm not risking it if it's not pictured, because there was a couple of variations of the Casher boards. Then I saw one site that had the right one, right part number and everything. £53. Whew, that's a bit of a bullet to the head, but OK, I'll cover it. Out of stock as well. And then I was in touch with the owner. They weren't really bothered. To be honest, I mean, OK, I've broken somebody's hoover. I can understand they'll be a bit annoyed and they maybe got annoyed with me. Not at all, they were really sweet about it. And I basically offered them a meal of cat and dog. And because, well they're friends of friends, but now they're friends with us because we know them. Um, I've got a friend, you know that C2 cat and dog? Maybe you don't remember, but I serviced it a wee while ago. Um, my friends gave it to them to try. They pretty much fell in love with it. They're big car fans and it was good for the car. I fell in love with it and thought we would like one of these and that was what I was offering her, my cat and dog 5261. Remember the, the bargain meal as one of my friends refers to it. Don't know if they will have watched this video that far. But anyway, that's now going to a new home and I thought well, I pay 53 quid for this board or I give them a meal that cost me, well it cost me £25 but I put new pedals on it so it did cost me a bit in the end. And I have the the satisfaction of it going to a good home because the issue I had with the Mila cat and dog, that particular one, there was no issues with the performance. I loved it. Practically the perfect hoover. Problem is, I was using it too much. It was like the only hoover I've been using since I got it. Um, and my grandparents um, anyway. In my house I just keep the hoover the same because it's all wooden floors. It's not like I can try a different upright out. So the poor cat and dog has been getting used loads. I thought well I've got a garage and a loft full of various vintage machines, Henry's, the Lewis, which I've been meaning to use to ages, for ages. I recently fell back in love with it because I took it along to Kevin's and we had a road test of it. Great machine. I've never been using any of them. So, when I get rid of the cat and dog, in theory, it should open up all kinds of new opportunities for me to use Hoovers. Because let's face it, we do get bored of Hoovers eventually. Whilst I never got bored of this cat and dog, I got bored of the last one eventually, sold it, I went for £155, then I regretted it the next week, but that's how it goes. Okay, enough talking. I haven't uploaded in ages, so I thought I'd better churn something out. Again, I'm making quite a new exciting video this week, hopefully this week, probably be next week by the time this is up and then that's edited. 
Yes, me editing a video. Wow. Like me? Of all folk to edit? Wow. So hopefully if that video goes great, you will see it. Um I'm not gonna tell you what kind of video it is, that's for you to wait and see. Anyway, thank you for watching, blah blah. See you later.